Hi, it's Tamika, a new me 1109. So I just saw a question that was posted to my profile, and it says, um, do you have a video where you discuss your exact diet? Like, do you count calories? Do you try to eat low carb, etc.? Since you have been so successful, I would be very interested in what plan you have followed. Thanks. So thanks for the question. And, um... Let's see. You know, I was thinking about this for a second, and I wanted to start off by saying some of the things that I don't eat. And I think that helps a little bit. Uh, it helps frame, like, where I'm coming from. So, when I was going through classes, I was told very specifically, don't eat rice, don't eat pasta, because those things can uh, stick in your stoma, so that space in between um, your big stomach and your, and your pouch... Um, the little narrow opening, if those things should happen to settle there and water's on top of it, it can cause it to expand. You know what, what happens if there's some rice or some pasta in your sink. Once it gets wet, it sort of expands. So that can create a stuck situation. So stay away from those. Don't eat those. Um, I was also told for bread, if I eat bread, just eat the crusty part or eat bread, like a whole wheat piece of bread that's well toasted. Well, I can't even eat that. So that's a good thing for me. So I intentionally stay away from the rice and the pasta. I have tried to slip up and, you know, take a bite of um, toasted bread or crusted bread. And it just does not work well for me. I'll start having some pea being and I know I have to stay away from it. There are some crackers that I can eat. So like regular saltine crackers I can eat. But anything fancy, I can't. I always pay attention to the calorie count, and I always know that I need to modify a serving size because I can't eat a whole serving. So I'm very aware of calories, just in general. When I'm in the grocery store, I pick up, unless it's something that I've already purchased, I'm already familiar with, I will pick up the box and I'll look at the caloric um, value. And if it's lots of calories, lots of sodium, very little protein, um, lots of sugar, chances are it won't go in my basket. So now I don't keep a running list of all of the calories that I eat for the day, but I am very aware. So I'm supposed to eat between 800 and 1200 calories a day. There are days when I eat 700 calories and I'm fine. There are days when I eat up to 900 calories and I'm okay. Um, let me tell you another example. I love Mexican food, and one of my guilty pleasures is Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. Now, I can eat a half of it. It's 500 and, I don't know, 20-something calories. So I can eat half at one meal and maybe the other half later, if I don't give it away to my kids or something. But um, I know that even though I'm eating something that's sort of like junk food, I am, you know, I always ask for extra cheese, so I to try to get my protein in, and there's meat and there's beans in there, um, but I'm still only eating 200 and something calories worth of stuff, and then if I want to eat something, that I, something like that, I sort of plan out my day, and I know, you know, today I've just been thinking about it, I can't stop thinking about it, so you know what, I'm going to go ahead and have it, however, I'm planning the rest of my day around it to make sure that I don't go over my calories for the day. So now, let me get back to basic things that I do eat. I, um, for the proteins, I like lots of cheeses, so baby bell cheese, laughing cow cheese, um, I always get light for those. Um, I like cottage cheese, I like um, yogurt. If I stick to those type of things, I'm okay. I do lots of, um, I'll make soups or stews. Um, a lot of times I'll make those on Sundays, and I'll package them up in little... Um, half cup or one cup containers that aren't quite full and put them in the fridge, put them in the freezer so that I'll have them throughout the week. Um, when I first started off, I was eating a lot of chilies. Currently, I don't know what it is, but I can't get beans down. I can still get lentils down, but I'm having a hard time with beans. So whereas at some point during my journey, it would be chicken chili, you know, turkey chili, whatever, chili, chili, chili. Um, and right now I just can't have chili. So you would think that it would be, your journey would be easier in terms of what you can eat. 
But for me, it's sort of the opposite. Like scrambled eggs. I used to always have like my um, um, egg scramble in the morning with cheese, a little meat, a little veggies. Now I can't really necessarily get the eggs down. I can eat eggs and soy riso, but I can't just... Um, I don't know what it is. I can eat like um, frittata sometimes, but just a scrambled egg, most of the time it doesn't work. I can eat a boiled egg, but I can't necessarily eat scrambled egg. That's not even hard. Like I make sure it's not too hard. Still can't get it out. Um, for chicken, I can do uh, dark meat better than I can do white meat. Um, I cannot have any type of processed McDonald's chicken nuggets, chicken fingers, chicken patties, chi none of that. I can't have any of that stuff. If it, you know, even that, you know, in the package that's supposed to be like grilled chicken breast, if it's processed or manipulated in any type of way, if it's not just a piece of chicken out of the pack, raw chicken that I've cooked or somebody has cooked, I can't eat it. So, like, I don't have, McDonald's doesn't have anything for me because I don't eat salads well. I can't process and chew up the lettuce, and that was something that was told to me at some point, too, and it's true. So, like, you know, to go out, and some people think, oh, diet, lettuce, salad, I can't, I can't do that salad stuff. If I'm at a salad bar, I would be getting some cheese, maybe boiled egg, maybe cottage cheese, um, maybe, you know, some garbanzo beans or some green beans, something like that, but you won't really beat, you won't really see, like, a whole bunch of lettuce on my plate. Let's see, um, I said I like a lot of stews, a lot of soups. One thing about soups with the pasta, even if I'm out and I get a bowl of soup, like a minestrone or something like that, I will dig every piece of pasta out. I, I just don't play with pasta. I had always been a person who loved, loved, loved bread, carbs, all that stuff. So I'm very careful not to jump on that carb train because once you get on there, for me, it's very hard to get off. So I just completely try to stay away from that stuff. Let's see. Um, I did make a couple of videos what I ate today. I think I made three consecutive days. I just tracked what I ate to share. And I also put in uh, the calorie count, the protein count. I am more protein driven. Although here lately I've tried to concentrate on a whole meal. So um, I, I don't really do carbs so much. I guess to answer your question, I don't really do a whole bunch of carbs. Because for me, that like even potato, like if I try to eat a piece of baked potato, it I PB. I'm like, why? It's a potato, so I don't eat that. Um, I can eat like a yam or sweet potato if it's cooked really well and it's really soft and it's right out of the oven. <laughs> but um, other than that, I can't have it. Let's see. So not not too many carbs. Not too many carbs at all. No bread. I'm so thankful that I can't do breads and cookies and well I can do cookies but but no um cake and pie and stuff like that. And like I just said the cookie, like I'll take a bite or so and then I'll leave it alone. But I don't you know, I just don't go overboard with stuff. And I stick to half a cup, sometimes a little bit more than a half a cup, and I let that be my guide to what I'm eating. If I know that what I'm bringing in my house house is healthy, um, the calories are, are good, there's not a whole bunch of sugar and stuff like that in it, then, you know, I'm okay when I'm home. It's very hard for me to eat out, extremely hard for me to eat out, because I'm like, I don't know what's in it. Um, and so, yeah, it's hard for me to eat out. I do, I've learned some tips and tricks, and maybe I'll share that in another video, but for the most part, I'm eating food from home fish, dark meat chicken, um, all of those cheeses and stuff like that for protein, vegetables that are cooked really well, fruit that is cut up without the skin and preferably cooked in some way because um, just regular fruit or vegetables that aren't cooked well can cause you some PB type situation. So I will track um, a couple of days this week just to share with you what I'm eating and I hope that I answered your question without rambling too much. I'm a talker. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.